Hi, my name is Sarah Sinis, and the math teachers and I at Liberty Middle School want to share with you today the importance of teaming and collaboration and how it affects our teaching and our student learning. The first part is our planning meeting. Our meeting topics for today are to discuss the student growth goals, um, looking at which ones have mastery in chapter three, because we are all starting chapter three about next week, which is algebraic expressions and properties. Um, and then looking into each particular lesson, which ones, what standards need to be mastered at each lesson. Our planning meeting is so crucial to our instructional practices. We are always trying to be excellent teachers. One of the struggles is doing everything excellently when we're trying something for the first time. This year we have new curriculum, so we're diving into uh, you know new concepts being taught, looking at any misconceptions the students might have, and being able to team with other teachers and collaborate on those ideas uh, really helps to drive our instruction. And it just lays it all out. Instead of, it's almost a dry run without the kids. What are those key ideas? What are the things we're gonna focus in on? What are the things that students absolutely need to walk away um, today knowing? We can kind of make these what ifs. Is this gonna work? Should we do this? Should we not do this? I'm a veteran teacher. I've been teaching since 1984 and I have had different training than the newer teachers on my team. So I have some experiences that they can benefit from and I have uh, can benefit from some of their experiences so the kids win because I can be the best teacher that I want to be. After our team collaboration where we plan what we're going to be doing and teaching in our classroom, we all then go off and teach the lesson. And one great part about this is that although we have the same lesson and the same standards, this is where each of our individual flavors go into the lesson. Coming out of these meetings, um, I feel like I have got a good grasp on how I'm gonna instruct this lesson. I am like a physician. I can diagnose what each of the kids needs and I can react to that. I can increase skill levels. I can support kids. I can encourage kids. All of us give exit tickets to assess our students' learning and growth during the instruction. One of our key elements that we do is the post-meeting. Here we bring back data from exit tickets, uh, how the kids did, what the questions, what misconceptions they have, and we can discuss them so that we can diagnose weaknesses, strength, and improve some of our other lessons that are going to come so the kids can learn at a high rate. One of my classes, the class that I was paying attention to the data, like 15 of my kids were already proficient on that algebra stand, and then I only had like 12 that were not. Yeah. And then one of you was like the total opposite where most mm -hmm. of your kids were in the level one, level two for the algebra strand. And yeah. you didn't, so I would think that when we're teaching these lessons, our we're gonna groups, see that. you're going to see that. And that's probably why you didn't have any level fours. Yeah. Because I had one. You had, we, right. When on we organized you that had data. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of matching the data that we already have in front of us yeah. when you're planning for your groups. I did a lot of whole group at the beginning to get them going. And when normally I feel, I've, felt with chapter one and two, we could kind of split off that second day yeah. almost right away. And this took a lot of prepping and building. Mm -hmm. I added a third day because I didn't even work with the story problems that much, just a real basic level until the third day where we could just focus okay. on that because those skills are so important and for critical. algebra and critical. We just kind of took each example and worked and gave some of the groups that already understood it some harder problems. So when I gave my exit tickets, all the kids pass the algebra. Having the post meeting, I feel, is probably one of the most critical pieces for me. That's where we talk about our successes, things that worked well, things that didn't work well. What do we need to improve? What do we need to address for further lessons? Things that not only we need to shift for next year, but things that we might need to shift for tomorrow or next week. It's comforting to hear other people's either frustrations or what went well and you know kind of bouncing ideas off of each other so that next time we can take those ideas and implement them into our own teaching instruction. Teaming has made me a better teacher. This is my fourth year of teaching and I feel like if I'm working with a group of colleagues who want to strive to be the best that we can be working together we're going to get so much further than I would by myself and I appreciate and respect the time um, that has been afforded to us and 
I, I look forward to it. It has made me a better teacher for sure. If I were just to try and figure this out on my own, again, I'd, I'd just feel lost. I feel when I'm able to team and collaborate with other people's ideas and suggestions, it really gives me a good, strong foundation during my teaching. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to us explain what teaming and collaboration means to us, not here just at Liberty, but I'm sure across the state of Washington. Thanks again.